This is a Radio Horror YouTube channel talking about the Thai West Horror movie that came out a couple weeks ago, X, a really fucked up goddamn horror movie porno. What did the sheriff say at the end of the movie? It's the best line in the entire film, honestly. Oh, what's on this? Um, probably a goddamn, some goddamn horror film, something like that. Some fucked up goddamn horror movie or something like that. That is the best line. It's the last line of the entire movie. It's the best line of the whole movie. <laughs> this is one of the most balls to wall, out of this world movies I have seen all year. Um, absolutely, you know, ridiculous. Uh, pornographic as all hell and horrific as all hell. Uh, <laughs> I am shocked there aren't more people talking about this movie, but Katie and I are going to talk about it really quickly. X, which stands for the adult film industry. Uh, by Ty West and uh, A24 Studios, right? Yeah, A24. And I, it's X um, regarding the subject matter, but also the X factor of the uh, stars of the film. Uh, as Chris said, written, directed by Ty West. Um, X stars Mia Goth, uh, Brittany Snow, Jenny Ortega and um, Kid Cuddy, who is uh, goes by his actual name, Scott Mascuti. Um, it's set in 1979 in Texas. And basically, if you want um, a quick summary of what it is, if the visit and Boogie Nights made a film on the set of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it would be X. Um, there's a lot of, uh, sex, not so much that I thought it was like overindulgent and something that I loved is all the women were in control of what they did. There was nothing that they were coerced to do. This is all there. This is what they wanted to do. And they had very, you know, strong feelings of why they did it. Um, it has a little bit of that, um, Gore Den Gecko, haha, um, as in Wall Street, but do a Gordon um, G O R E D O N Gecko. Um, gore is good, gore works, and there is a lot of it in this film. Um, there's a group of six people who are going to make a almost an elevated porn film um, on a little farm, um, renting the little uh, farmhouse. Um, next to these old, um, this older couple for $30. They don't tell the people um, what they're going to be doing, which is probably best. So it's like, you know, a 1979 Airbnb. Uh, they make an adult film that they want to, you know, it's got art, it's got class. Um, they've got all these angles the cinematographer wants to do because he doesn't just want to make a porn. He wants to make a porn that's like, a good porn, like class act. Um, they, you know, do what they do. And then um, you have equal um, amounts of screams of pleasure and screams of terror. This film has got the gore to the floor. I mean, from the ceiling to the floor. It also has a little bit of the contradictions that, you know, people are free to have sex with whatever and do all this stuff. I've got a little hair like um, Mia Goth does in the movie. And, but also only to a certain point because it's the power of beauty, like what people will do for the right look and that, you know, that youth. And once you get to a certain age, you may still have those feelings, but sometimes the body can't do what it, um, you know, used to do. And sometimes nobody wants to do, um, you know, anything with that body. It also has a contradiction that I always find this interesting that what is worse, committing a sin or breaking a commandment? Because if sex is supposed to be a sin, yet usually all these people get killed, you know, when people are having sex or because of sex, isn't murder is breaking a commandment. So what's worse, the sex or um, I don't know, like breaking, you know, committing the um, sin or breaking the commandment. I always find that contradiction interesting. Ty West, this is honestly one of my favorite Ty West films, if not my favorite. 
Um, he's back to his horror, which I love. He hasn't made a movie in about six years. Um, if it's going to be like that, if it needs to take that break to make this, fine. Loved it. Cinematography is great. The music is like this haunting children's lullaby that um, just creeps into your soul. Beautiful um, direction. Awesome acting by everybody involved, and especially Mia Goth. I'm not going to say why, because she does a little bit um, of an extra thing that I didn't even realize until the end of the film. Uh, it came out, I believe, May 18th. Go see this in the theater and go wait until the very, very end because there's an extra little part um, that is already made, the prequel. I know they're kind of finalizing that and I believe there is a sequel that is in the works too. Uh, this is one of definitely going to be one of my favorite films of the year. Definitely one of my favorite horror films of the year. Like I said, everyone involved did an amazing job. Uh, Ty West, mwah, you are absolutely fantastic. And again, this is my favorite role of Mia Goth. Like she's really blown my mind from what she could do in this. Um, look out for the Shadow Dong. Uh, um, like I said, Kid Cudi, yeah. If he's not with anyone, he's definitely going to be, his dance card's definitely going to be filled after this film. Uh, go the see musician, it. Musician Kid Cudi? Yeah, wow. that shadow, yeah, that shadow dong in there. Um, very impressive. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of got me off track because whew, just remembering that is a little bit um, getting me a little verklempt. Um, yeah, this, is a, this had a good balance of like, oh, it's not just a bunch of tits. There's also a lot there for the women too, you know, and vice versa. But I'm just speaking from a, a heterosexual. Uh, uh straight man you know and 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 so on of like but yeah there there's enough eye candy there for both it's not just like you know oh it's porno so you know there's going to be a lot of tits and ass like you know in a fake porno it is a fake porno um movie making movie you know this is the height of uh uh deep throat was that the big porno movie of the 70s uh yes deep throat was earlier on but this is like it's like into the whole vhs thing which then crushed everything with um the adult film industry because the sales just could go you could like have this in your home rather than trying to find a theater that would actually play it which was very very hard because x you know they had very few x-rated places that you could go because they would get shut down so this is like you know vhs was like the new thing and and like the big thing especially in the adult um industry and they were gonna you know be the forefront on it like actually make like the godfather of a porn film and from what i mean you know anyone who knows film who knows working on an independent set and loves film this is someone who loves film like all of the shots that ty west did i mean mwah, chef's kiss uh just seeing you know little clapboard and everyone working towards um making a film it it's um anybody like i said anyone who works on independent you know the sacrifices you have to make and you know everyone's involved in everything going on there and um yeah, this is this is a film that um, is made by someone who loves film. is made is going to be appreciated by movie lovers, and uh, especially in the horror community. So, I mean, like I said, one of my favorites of the year. Go and see it. Who were the two actors who played the elderly couple, and were they an actual elderly couple, or were they people in like a lot of makeup? So, are we gonna spoil it? Uh, I don't think we need to spoil anything without with with explaining who the elderly couple is at least. Really? We don't need to we don't need to explain we don't need to spoil anything but there is an elderly couple in the movie that are in the trailer and are they played by real actors or are they played by uh people in makeup? Uh well yeah, the elderly Pearl, the elderly woman is Mia Goth in heavy heavy prosthetic makeup. Okay, that I did not know until just recently. Yeah. Okay. And then the guy, I actually don't know who the gentleman is, but yeah, Mia Goth has a dual um, dual role in the film. And- um, She was fantastic in the remake of Suspiria. Yeah, she was great. And, um, but this, I mean, I thought she blew me away 
by doing that um, dual performance. Actually, I loved her name. What was her name in this? Oh. Uh, Maxine and Pearl. Yes, Maxine Minx. That is, I mean, obviously Minx is probably not her real last name, but for a stage name, Maxine Minx. Again, chef's kiss. Um, Jenny Ortega, who was just in the new Scream. Nice little job that she's doing this. She actually was one of the surprise uh, what happened to her was actually one of the jumps that I did not necessarily see coming. Oh there. God. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. And there's a, yeah. uh, there is a, uh, without revealing who gets it, but there is a crocodile or alligator. I am always confused with which animal is, which, uh, seeing that just made me go, ah, <laughs> Brittany snow is absolutely amazing. She's like, the yeah, Dolly she's Pot- come a long way since that crappy prom night movie remake. She did. <laughs> yeah. And she's like the Dolly Parton of porn in this, um, it's just everything about it, like the production design, the actual story. I'm very interested to see um, the prequel with uh, Mia Goth playing um, the lead actress um, of Pearl or lead character Pearl in that one. And again, you know, there's supposed to be a sequel, so we'll see. And for anyone who's interested, one of my favorite lines of the film is what is it? Uh, I will not. Sorry, I can't read my own writing. Oh, I will not accept a life I do not deserve. Uh, One thing when you see the film, make sure to note the different little foreshadowing lines that a number of people say that kind of uh, definitely predicts how they're going to die. Like, oh, you don't want to see daddy mad and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, it's going to make everyone's eyes... um, pop out when they see these it it was cute i like the way they did the lines because i could definitely foresee how certain people were going to die but then um a number of things happened and it was a complete shock so i mean you get some that are expected some that aren't again uh anyone who's into film is going to love this anyone who appreciates horror is going to love this and anyone who enjoys watching Thai West films I think is really really going to like it I want to see it again I wish I had known I actually did not see the um stay for the credits because like I said there's a little uh trailer for the prequel that's already made that should be coming out soon I actually did not see that when I saw my press screening. I'm a little pissed they didn't have that. So make sure you stay till the very end of the film to watch that um, post credit scene because it is worth it. But definitely go see it in the theater. Check out the rest of the videos here on the Radio Horror YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. Go see X if it's still playing. It's still playing at my local theaters in AMC and Framingham. And uh, if it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray or streaming, definitely try and check it out and support it. Ty West is one of those awesome filmmakers. Thank you, everyone.